this is the Bearded Zeno along with Spazzy Dolphin, Evil or Omega, and this is going to be the Clicking Phoenix Entertainment E3 recap, starting off with Microsoft, and holy shit! Alright, Spazzy Dolphin's got the notes, go ahead and run down. Alright, they start off with the opening montage of all the games that we knew were coming out. Then I have somewhere in my notes they talked about what the future is, and you said, I thought the future was Connect. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you said four years ago. Yeah. Now Connect is dead. So. Just like the PSP. It's great for voice commands, but no, no, nope, that's yeah. about it. Then the first thing they really show is Halo 5 Guardians. Which, God, oh, that looks so shit. amazing. Ooh. Oh, great. I just want to say Nathan Fillion is Buck. It's my spirit animal. <laughs> <laughs> God. All the new guns were cool, and they had the different looking Prometheans. Well, yeah, they Prometheans. So yeah, I so haven't played Halo Five before in the beta back in December. Mm -hmm. I can say that it looks just as you know, play, it looks like it plays just as well as it did then. Definitely has had a visual bump since then, which we, you know, we pretty much knew watching the beta that it was downgraded and all that good stuff. But yeah, and then announced the the War Zone. Multiplayer, Which, I guess, feature. 24 players. 24 players, God. and it has enemy AI spread out throughout the battlefield. So it's red versus blue Spartans, and you have, like, Covenant in the middle of the yeah, fight. Yeah, That looks really fun. It's like, what the fuck? What? <laughs> <laughs> so we loved Halo 5. Then they showed off this weird game no one's ever heard of. is the world premiere. It's called ReCore. Where, like, her dog dies and she takes out the core of it and puts it in the other thing. That seems like something you would like. It does definitely look interesting. I'd have to look more into it, though, before making yeah. any kind of final decision. Yeah, it was just, it was just a CG trailer. Yeah, so, it's okay. You know, it's typical EG, CG trailer. <laughs> EG. <laughs> anyway, that's Xbox One exclusive. It comes out in spring of next year. A lot of spring games. Yeah. That's when Uncharted comes out. So mm -hmm. That's going to be great. Then they drop the... This year's Megaton, which is backwards compatibility for 360 games. I was, was literally huge. speechless. They won E3. <laughs> With that one little five minute second, they won E3. That <laughs> no one saw this coming. Like no one's even talked about this in years. I bet the, I, the real I possibility of it coming. I see this uh, like them behind the scenes, like fuck it, we're finally sticking it to Sony for what they did to us two years ago with the price drop. I feel like this was. This couldn't be an easy thing to do. Like they've no, been put a lot they, of they said they've been this. working on it for a year. Yeah. Solid year just to get this thing to work, and they weren't even sure if it was going to. So, I that's think great. they knew it would be, like, if you haven't bought a PS4 or Xbox One yet, that would be a huge reason to get an Xbox One. Yeah, because you have all 360 games now opened up in your library. It's not just Xbox One yeah. games anymore. And you can get an Xbox One and get a couple new games, and then do like I do, go to GameStop, pick up. 50 Xbox 360 games for $10. Yeah. <laughs> so, even if you never had an Xbox before, you can get an Xbox One and have a ton of new games for really cheap. What's so cool about this is that all your retail discs work with it, which you, you stick it in and it downloads the game from the yeah, Xbox yeah. store, so it doesn't read off the disc. Basically, like the, the disc is like your access key. Yeah, pretty to, much a free download. And all yeah. the digital games that you had on 360 automatically will be in your Xbox One library. They said they want it to be fully working by this holiday season. So I guess letting you download every 360 game. Which, that, that's awesome. There's there's no more need for remastered games. We just... Ah, they'll still do it. Yeah. They're obviously still... What's so cool about it, remember, they, they said that it actually does the resolution bump when oh, you're playing yeah, the does. games. So, that's... I mean, it's yeah. basically a, a pseudo-remastered now. Yeah. So... I mean, like, I was thinking, like, oh, I want a Mass Effect trilogy remastered on Xbox One. I don't need that. I just go back and rebuy them for 360. It's not software from doing Gears of War. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's some games. If, you, if they build it again from the ground up, it'd be worth it. See, so I, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, I, I think what they're doing with Gears... Because they didn't show remastered. We'll get that in a second, but they didn't yeah, yeah. show it. So, I'm thinking, like, that's going to have UE4 instead of UE3. Which is why. Oh, okay. Yeah. See, that'd be worth it. Which is what a game later than the list is. Okay. Next, they announced is the Elite controller. This thing looks really cool. So it's gonna be. It's gonna be hefty price tag. Yeah, I was about to say, did they say how much it was? Nope. Other thing's gonna be like eighty dollars, seventy-five, eighty dollars. It's got like. Itself. It's got like four little um, triggers down below the grips. Yeah. Interchangeable thumbsticks. Like you could put the thumbsticks in the PlayStation uh, configuration if you want to. <laughs> which I, that's. Fucking crazy. 
They even had the DualShock Three controllers. If you love those things, <laughs> yes. And the the uh, the uh, the new D-pad on this thing looks crazy. Oh, wow. I knew it looked a lot like the Steam controller. Yeah, I love how they've changed the D-pad. But yeah, I wouldn't be surprised this thing was eighty dollars. But I know it would sell a lot. I'm, it'd probably be double the price of the normal controller. I'm gonna say one twenty. Really? I'm okay. gonna say one twenty. Wow. You're probably closer than. <laughs> And then after that, they uh, brought out uh, was it Todd Howard, is that his name? Yep. From last night's Bethesda conference, and he showed off a little <laughs> new Fallout 4 footage. We saw a lot of it last night. Yeah, but... so I mean, a lot of it was just like retreading the same waters. Yeah. It still looks fucking yeah. awesome because it's see Fallout the, 4. the laser musket. <laughs> yeah. That was, oh, that was fucking cool. <laughs> okay, I mean, like, I was watching it, and I was literally saying, like, I ain't even mad. It's more Fallout 4. Yeah. I, I ain't gonna complain. <laughs> and they showed off the more mod support. Yeah. Mod That's going to be... You're not talking about chill. It's, well, what do you think about mod support? Long the, overdue. Fucking, like, this is the first console game that has mod yeah, support. That's going to be So amazing. this two huge megatons in this press conference, a lot of people, like, the, their, their Twitter reactions and first reactions and everything, they're like, oh, this, this was disappointing. It's like there was no megatons. <sighs> Bullshit. Backwards compatibility and mod support. Yeah. First 30 fucking pretty, yeah, minutes. Yeah, pretty much back to back, too. Yeah. And Sony hasn't confirmed... One way or the other, if Mod Sports coming to the PS4 version, but it's, if it's not going to be on PS4, that's just even more reason to get. Yeah, I, I'm not seriously get an Xbox One just for that because what... Fallout 4 is going to be such a huge game. Yeah, I wonder if the uh, special it, edition consoles it, for it. With Mod Maybe. Support, what, what, what's so great is like you, you can use all the PC mods because they're made yeah. on PC and you access <clears> like the like the the works like Steamworks or whatever it's going to be for Xbox, like the Mod Hub, and you can install the mods that way. Which that that's crazy. This might seriously be the first time, not even a game, but a feature from a game could sell a console. Yeah, that would be a huge deal. All right, then they talk about a EA Access Vault. That was pretty interesting to me. Well, yeah, they, they've had that for over a year now, but it's never been that interesting. Yeah. But I like what they're doing with it now. They're adding more games into it. It's a good value. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, if if you if you've never played those games before, I mean, it's like it's it's either thirty dollars a year or sixty dollars a year. Both are great because it's like... Which is like a new game a year. Yeah, and you get access to... There's eight on there currently. So, mm -hmm. I mean, that's that's great. You also get uh, week early access with new releases. You get to play that way. Yeah, because I remember last year, um, you would have to have the EA access just to get demos for the EA sports games. Yep. Which I, I still think is bullshit to have, like, you know, a paywall behind the demo like that. But that's more value to it, you know? Yep. Then talk about Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2. This, this, might, have been the, this might have been the second biggest reaction that I had of the day. The first yeah. biggest being backwards compatibility. I was literally like yeah. in the floor in awe, my head in my hand, just looking yeah. at the screen. I don't care about those games. But I remember you got Garden Warfare 1 like the day it came out. Yeah, because it's fucking, it's fucking <laughs> awesome. You need to play it. Uh, since we got a lot of downtime today, we'll, I'll try it out. You know, let's, let's fucking stream it. We'll stream it. All Maybe. Right. I don't know. I've played it on like an iPhone before. But I'm sure it'd be so but, much better. I mean, this on that. is a third person shooter. This isn't a tower defense game. Really? It's a, yeah, it's a shooter. See, I don't even know that. Yeah, it's a shooter. <laughs> I'll definitely check that out. Then. Yes, it's great. Yeah. But they say that was coming out. I didn't catch. Uh, that spring was next out. year. All right. So a lot of stuff spring next year. Yeah. yeah. The spring is the new Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> then they shot off Forza Six. Oh. Uh, I don't give a shit about racing games, but this game looks amazing. Seriously, the best looking game I've seen. See, I, I treat the Forza series. Like, just straight up graphics and car porn. You know, like, oh my god, look at yeah. the graphics. <laughs> so, and oh. I, I bumped the difficulty down to, like, the easiest, dumbest yeah. thing. So, it basically drives itself. You win every race. <laughs> yeah, I would come in first place. Like, you, you take first within, like, the first half of the first lap. And you just <laughs> you just coast and just look at the graphics. That's yeah. what I do. <laughs> that comes out September 15th. So yeah. It's really soon. Yeah, I can't, I can't wait to get that. And then we had the world premiere of Dark Souls 3. Like, eh. I was pretty sure we knew it existed and was yeah, coming out. Yeah, it leaked. But, yeah, oh, okay. But I didn't think we'd see any kind of footage of it. Yeah. I still have yet to play the first one. Mm, and me too. I'm not into the games like that. I want to try out Bloodborne, but I don't know. Dark Bloodborne's Souls. the best out of all those. Cool. Just, it's the best out of all those. Then they went on to uh, Tom Clancy's The Division. Which... That looks fun. It looks very beautiful. They didn't show any new gameplay. It was just a new... Trailer. Gameplay trailer. Yeah, putting yeah. quotation marks. There's... Yeah, that's that's what it was, and it looks great. But I mean, we're just seeing more of the same for this. I just want to get my hands yeah. on this game and actually fucking play it. Yeah, and they showed other Tom Clancy stuff, and they mentioned that I think if you get 
Rainbow Six Siege, then you get Rainbow Six Vegas 1 and 2. Yeah, the 360 versions. Yeah, the 360 free. versions, yeah, for free. That's a pretty good deal. Because backwards compatibility. Games. Yeah. <laughs> Which, that's awesome. It's like, they, they more developers might start doing this, where instead of like re- releasing a remastered you know, like section, it's like, okay, you pre-order the game, you get like the first two games in this trilogy for free. I would love that. That'd be an amazing idea. Yeah, it's, it's a great idea. And that's what yeah. I love about the backwards ability, because so far, Xbox is the only console to have that right now. Yeah. Like the Wii U has it. <laughs> it's like when we're gonna play Mario and Mario and Mario and, and Mario Tennis and <laughs> Zelda and, and that's it. Not no Metroid, damn no, no Metroid. No. <laughs> yeah. Then they showed off the free to play game, Gigantic. Yeah, I, I called that was free to play from the <laughs> yeah, first yeah. moment. Like this the looks first like a free to play. Yeah, you did. <laughs> and that beta starts in August. You can play that. It looks it looks yeah. it looks pretty neat though. Yeah, huh? it's yeah. interesting. Then they had the indie game montage, which you know, that's pretty much standard at these yeah. press conferences now because people have to whip that indie dick around. Yeah, <laughs> and they showed off a bunch of random indie games. The most interesting one was a uh, Cuphead. Yeah, that looks so See, fun. I've known about this game for a while. I've never now. heard of it until today. It looks the so art style. I can't wait to play it. It's like it's like you see a screenshot of it, you're like, oh, that looks like an old like. It looks like an old 30s Disney cartoon. And you're does. like, oh, that's, that's so cool. And then when you see it in motion, you're like, this is amazing. Yeah. It's a game you have to see to believe. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure Cuphead is only on Xbox One, too. Yeah. Oh, it's good. Yeah, that'll be on PC, maybe. Yeah, it's a console exclusive. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure they mean it's coming to PC, too. All right. Then they showed off the Xbox game preview, which you said reminds you of Xbox Live Arcade, where you can like try games out yeah. early. Yeah, it's... Basically, it's like Steam Early Access, but you have trials for the games. So it's like, play the first couple hours to see how the game runs. So if it's like a buggy, buggy mess, then you can say, nah, I don't want to pay for this, I'll just uninstall it. I I love that. I thought that was a great idea. It's a neat idea, right? So that's another Megaton. They're the first console to have Early Access. Yeah. Then they showed off this game, Ion. They showed nothing about it. Like, it was like a 30-second trailer where they kind of just... Take Something you forever space. to show the logo. Yeah. I forgot it. I uh, even forgot what it was. Was that the one with like the space stations? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that, they show that nothing was about stupid. it. Well, don't announce a game with a stupid trailer like that. With like half the stupid trailer being crowd shots. Yeah. <laughs> like what were you yeah. thinking? And then they showed off Rise of the Tomb Raider gameplay. Oh, this game oh. looks amazing. Oh, it looks so good. <sighs> this is out of all these games on this list, this is probably the biggest win for Microsoft because they have this locked down for at least six months. Yeah. And you know, as amazing as it as it looks, as much as people love the first game, people are impatient. This might move consoles. No, this will move consoles. Because Fallout 4 will move consoles. The, yeah, the mod support will move consoles. That's for sure. But, uh, but I agree, yeah. Yeah. That's the, how good it looks. God. And we're not going to have Uncharted 4 until... The spring, yeah. so this has like a, a good six months mm-hmm. leading up to Uncharted. And what's what's a, this is smart on Microsoft's part. The exclusivity for Tomb Raider probably ends when Uncharted Four comes out. So it's just like <laughs> probably. So it's like it's coming out on PS4, yeah. and they're like, Uncharted is the exclusive one. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Oh, and then they finally, we always wanted to see Rare come out and show something new that's not a connect game and they come out and show what we now know is called rare replay 30 rare games for 30 dollars huge deal and you got all three banjo kazooie games uncensored conquers bad fur day fucking battle toads viva pinata and yeah, viva pinata what, what else God, uh, so many grab by the ghoulies was in there yeah so, i don't get how these are rare games everybody's played them oh my god oh god damn it. <laughs> get out that was terrible, that was terrible. <laughs> Is Donkey Kong Country in those? Those are rare games. No, 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 no. It's anything that's not a Nintendo Gosh. property. But it's still... How do they have 30 games for that, then? Uh, they, have, they made a lot of games, dude. Yeah. Because this goes all the way back to the SNES era with mm-hmm. Battletoads. That was NES. Oh, go back to NES. NES. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can find it at GameStop, and they technically have Battletoads. It's like, hey, you, got, you guys got Battletoads for the Xbox One? Yeah, we sure do! <laughs> So that comes out in August. That comes out really freaking soon. That that's gonna be worth it just for Banjo and for Conquer. 
Yeah. <laughs> I'd be more excited about it, but I already have Banjo, Kazooie, and Tui on 360. I think Conqueror. They'll probably look a lot better. I think Conqueror yeah. is pretty much going to be worth it. Most people would probably pay $30 just for Conquer. Yeah. Just for the Uncensored Conquer game and not having to find that $40 uh, Live and Reloaded Xbox edition. Yeah. So that was that was pretty big. I just hate that we finally see Banjo Kazooie at E3, and it's three. It's not new. Next yeah, year, yeah, next year. It'll be next year. Yeah. There's always you, no, next no, no, year. No, no, no. You said that for three years. I, I don't believe it anymore. Hey, this is so, a step in the right direction. It is, but Jesus, this would be the perfect time because of the ukulele stuff too. Yep. Well, who needs but, you? Who needs ukulele when you can play the original two Banjo games? I, I have that. I have that, and I have them on N64 had those for a long ass time. Yeah, but this is only Xbox One. It's GDP 60 frames a second. <laughs> you poor your Xbox One. What was that guy's name? Fucking... Charla. Oh my god. The Xbox. <laughs> Can't even pronounce the fucking things he's advertising. I'm excited to announce the Xbox One. <laughs> <laughs> and then she rares herself off a new game. Uh, sea of Thieves. which is a pirate theme. Which Looks like an MMO. It look yeah, it's, it's like a pirate open world MMO, which I interesting. Yeah, you have my interest. Not it's not banjo. No, it's not banjo. I, I got bold. I just I just went like, hey, yeah, there's gonna be a banjo. Mark right words. There's gonna be a new banjo game. Well, like, technically we're getting three, but they're not new. <laughs> so yeah, and then they showed off Fable Legends. Whatever. <laughs> I yeah. give a shit about Fable. I'll try it when it comes out because it'll be free to play. Oh yeah, yeah it's free to play. So, I mean, it'll be, it'll, be, it'll be a fun distraction. I don't know if it'll be something I ever get into, really. And then they, you, You've played oh, it, yeah. though. You've played Fable Legends. How is it? Because you, uh, you're in the beta. Did I sign an NDA? You can talk about it. Who gives us, they're not going to hunt you down. It was, uh, it was fun. It was fun whenever I could actually find the match, but betas. <laughs> yeah. Betas, you know, they suck. And then they talk about the Oculus Rift, and they, I think it's a pretty huge deal that an Xbox One controller will come with every Oculus Rift. That's huge. And they also struck a deal with Valve. Yeah. For their for their VR, so literally every major VR headset except for Project Morpheus from Sony yeah. is coming with an Xbox controller That's and really is connected cool. with an Xbox. And then they showed off the Microsoft uh, Hololens and the Minecraft demo. I think that really has potential. Yeah. But they I, I have liked to be it. very careful. I, I thought it you mean you have to be very careful. Well, you remember Connect 2.0? It's dead now. It, that's that's dead. You know, when, when, when they started this, when they started that demo, I'm like, oh, they're going to demo Hollands. I'm like, this isn't going to go over well. This is not going to go over well. I think well. the demo went well. I mean, I don't care about Minecraft, but I think that was a really cool demo. For how how is it like the person who loves Microsoft the most in this room hated that demo, but everybody else loved it? I don't know. Well, it's, good. it's innovated. It's... I mean, like, the technology behind it is cool, but I do not give a shit about Minecraft on it whatsoever. Yeah, but they're going to have other stuff for it. They just thought Minecraft would be a good demo. Well, it's like now all the little kids are like, Mommy, Mommy, I need a HoloLens. <laughs> it's only $1,500. <laughs> it's like, wow, why did they Minecraft on their kitchen table? <laughs> <laughs> That's what's kind of cool, though. Like, you can, if you think about it, you could probably play that stuff on anything. Like you wanted to, you could project it on the wall and it come out the wall, or even this be, table we're on. You'll right be now. on a bus and your hands will just be flying all over the place. It's just, <laughs> <laughs> it'll look like you're having a seizure. Probably. <laughs> and then the last thing they really show off is uh, some Gears of War announcements. We're getting a Gears of War Ultimate Edition, which is pretty much HD remake of the first game. Uh, you know, well, what do you do? I guess. Yeah, I wonder how much it'll be. I wonder if it's gonna be like. It 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 can't be sixty after the Master probably, Chief Collection. I'm thinking forty. Like God of War three remastered. I'm thinking forty. I, thirty is the most I'd be willing to pay for one remastered game. Yeah, you know, especially since it's the first Gears. Yeah, you can get that for. Yeah, why would you? Because now you can play the 360 version for like two dollars. Because the first, because this is remastered in the control scheme and everything. They're basically putting like the judgment movement controls and stuff. I get that. Gears of War three movement controls in it. Gears 1's kind of unplayable, guys. Really? It's... I'm, I'm going to play it really soon. Cause it's... Oh. I haven't played it in a long time, but... I mean, like, if it's the first one you're playing, you're like, oh, you know, this is pretty cool. It's a little sluggish. It's kind of weird. Mm -hmm. But after tasting what Gears 3 is like, I can't go back to Gears 1. It's too <laughs> yeah, slow. Yeah, I know what you mean. But still, I bet a lot of people are going to think, Xbox One is now backwards compatible. 
and I can get Gears of War 1 for probably 99 cents, because I paid $3 for Gears of War 2. Yeah. So, I don't know. See, I don't even know why. That's why I don't think they're going to price it too high, because this is going to be something for, like, the Gear super fans. Yeah, yeah. That's a good point. Because it's not even a, it's not even a Marcus Phoenix collection, it's just one game. Yeah, I was surprised. I thought they would do something like that, but no, it's just the first one. And then they show off, not Gears of War 4, it's just Gears 4. Which I don't mind, because everyone calls it Gears anyway. And people get it confused because they just say G-O-W. when that can be God of War, you know, the Sony exclusive. So I don't mind it being just Gears 4. I, I don't like it. <laughs> for, 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 for formality's sake, I want Gears of War. I just think it's okay because that's what everyone I calls it. I mean, I'm going to call it Gears 4. <laughs> See? That's why I don't get it. <laughs> I'm trying to think of another franchise where people just call it a short name it's 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 like god of war 4 coming out it's just god 4 <laughs> but no no one calls those series god everyone calls it god of war everyone calls it the, the yeah, it's, it's the kratos game <laughs> <laughs> everyone calls these games like the gears I'm actually hoping to see something about uh, god of war in the sony conference i think we will because they, be they, they announced it back on march so they just didn't yeah. show anything yeah, it's hard to think. This is the third year we've done this on YouTube. I Recaps have been really fun. Twice on uh, Click and Finks. Mm-hmm. But um, to talk a little bit more about Gears Four, a little quick. Okay. They, uh, I think they showed like the worst section they could. Oh yeah, that was show. a pretty boring demo. They only are shooting at things for the last 20, 30 seconds. Yeah, they could have shaved a big chunk of that off. I think. I agree. I, I would rather them show like a two minute long trailer for Gears Remastered. And show the last two minutes of that instead of showing. Yeah, this, yeah. Like a five They're minute just walking gameplay. Around, yeah, really. I mean, half the time I was wondering, like, who the fuck are these people? Yeah. <laughs> Where the hell are we? Like the tornado was cool, but I yeah, don't that, know. That cool. I don't know what the hell those monsters are. Lightning. Yeah. I mean, literally, the only part that looks like Gears of War to me is the HUD and the characters. Like, the, yeah, the yeah. rest of it, I'm like, this does not look like Gears of War. Not a bad thing. And we, we thought there was going to be a, a one last thing. Of course, you thought that they are going to show off a new Banjo game. So he's gonna be and he even came out wearing a rare shirt. God. Like, Fuck you, <laughs> Phil, you fucking troll. <laughs> I love you, Phil. <laughs> but overall, I think we all really loved it. But apparently no one else on the internet does. Yeah. Everyone else thinks it's boring somehow. It's like, it was stupid. Xbox done. <laughs> More like Xbox done. <laughs> I'm not sure they watched the same thing we did. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, well, why, why, it why, why, why? All right. What could Sony or anyone else do to match that or top that? Future compatibility. No. <laughs> that, that was dumb. Yeah. Don't ever say that again. Forward compatibility. See, if Sony comes out and say, oh, we have backwards compatibility, too, it's just going to be like, oh, look, me, too, me, too. Yeah, if they say that, we would know, like, for a fact that they came up with the idea earlier today, and they it would take so long to do, it wouldn't be out for two more years. Yep. That's the only thing they can do. Yep. It would be hast- it would have to be hastily slapped together like the press conference two years ago when they had the when they had the, the four hundred dollar price they had the, like the no DRE on you could tell that it was a no 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 they they made that a few weeks in advance because everyone knew Xbox One was doing that a couple weeks before E three so they knew that they were going to show off if the PS four didn't do that no go back and look at that press conference that oh, they were talking about it's like oh yeah you know games require no DRM this is how you share with your friends. They sh- yeah. They did all that that day after the Microsoft press conference. They pretty much confirmed that. You could look at it. Like, yeah, but I'm just saying this was done in Microsoft PowerPoint in 20 minutes. Yeah, everyone said that PowerPoint looked bad. I know what you're saying, but at the same time, they knew Xbox One was gonna be like that two weeks before. So that's what they were hoping that night. They're yeah. Like, well, if, if they do this, we're gonna go this route. Yeah. Or maybe they saw an opportunity that night, like, oh, with the price point, like, like shit, we can jump in here, we can do all this and. I really do think this backwards compatibility thing is like Microsoft finally getting back. Like they're they're finally off the ground I, I and they finally. I don't think them. they're thinking about it like that because this was all run by completely different people back then. Yeah. If you look at it. See, Phil's not that kind of person, but like when you look at it from that standpoint, like with two yeah, companies yeah. fighting each other for supremacy. But this that's... is a huge turnaround from two years ago. Like now, yeah. I'm more excited. I don't even have an Xbox One, and I'm more excited for Xbox One stuff, yeah. the PS4 stuff, because. Like, it's amazing how much Phil Spencer has turned this fucking console around. Yeah. That's just crazy. 
It's crazy. It's like two like two years ago. I wouldn't even fathom having all the rare games on one console. It's two years ago, I wouldn't fathom even wanting an Xbox One, and now it's one hundred fifty dollars cheaper. You don't have to have a connect, and they don't have all the DRM stuff. Everyone's forgotten about all those things too, and, and that's a good thing. And they're thing. not pushing the stupid TV shit anymore. <laughs> no, one, I don't think anyone ever uses TV shit. Like, no. that was a selling point to them two years ago, and now they know it's like there's a stupid. there's a fucking HDMI in on the back of my thing that's dusty as hell because I never use it. <laughs> yeah. All right, if y'all, if y'all want to give it a score, can y'all think of a score to give it? You want to rate it on like an A, B, C? Yeah, yeah that makes more sense. I think. A. Yeah, A. 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 <laughs> Anytime it can be speechless, it's an A. A minus. A minus. Eh. The Hollowins and the CGI see, trailers. No, I, I enjoy both of those things. I'm okay, sick CGI with A. CGI I can give you, but the Hollowins? How the fuck? How the fuck? <laughs> It doesn't it's like matter. The biggest Sony fan in the room. It doesn't <laughs> matter. It's Microsoft. It's cool looking, and that can project onto most anything. And I know they're gonna do more with it than Minecraft. That's why I'm impressed with it. That's that's crazy. I don't care. That's I'm Minecraft. just I'm just so no. shocked. Hey, watch, I'm gonna end up loving the Sony one, and you're gonna. End up... <laughs> you're Probably. like no shit. I'm like that was the best thing ever. Well, depending on the games, that could easily happen. Yeah. All right, anything else for this? Nah, I'm done. Yeah, me too. Halo, motherfuckers. <laughs> God, this could be great. Anyways, uh, that's the end of this video. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them in the comments down below. You can follow us on social media, on Twitter. It's down there in the description down below. Yeah, and we're going to be making reactions for all the other press conferences today. Yep. So it's going to be awesome. And like I said, we might do the live stream of the Plants vs. Zombies. I don't know. Maybe. That'll be up on, on Twitch slash The Bearded Zeno because that's just the way it is. I probably should add that into the description of videos just so people can find it. But it will probably archive it on YouTube anyways. So. Yeah. That's it. Motherfuckers. <laughs>